All right, guys, welcome back to another home tour here in Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm Zach Searsway. And I'm Laura Kratchich, and we are your Dallas, Fort Worth Realtors. Today, we are hanging out at Coventry Homes in Mustang Lakes. It is a master plan community in Salina, Texas. That's right. And this community, you can build with this builder between three and five bedrooms, two to four bath, starting at 2,800 square footage at a price of 810,000. And guess what, guys? If you've been looking in Prosper, if you've been looking in Frisco or the Collin County area in general, this is where you wanna be at a lower price point with more yard than you'll have anywhere else in the Collin County area. Honestly, honestly, it's a huge yard. We can't wait to show you. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and show them the home. Okay guys, we're here in front of Coventry Homes here in Mustang Lake in Salina, Texas. Check out this amazing front elevation where you see those uh, two doors right there onto the side in front of the house. That's where the office is, but those are actually gonna be your garage space. And you've got a side entry garage, huge house, amazing lot, beautiful. Let's go ahead and check it out. Front entry, immaculate, beautiful. I love how they painted the brick beige such a neutral color and to be honest i feel like that will never go out of style the design options with coventry homes is so amazing exterior and interior you guys are about to see some of the most modern coolest finishes you've seen in any house it's amazing mm -hmm. all right let's go inside okay we are inside the home beautiful grand entry oh my gosh we love it so much mm -hmm. um it's all white and just has some accents um, that really bring the space together mm -hmm. let's go ahead and sweep left into our office space as soon as you walk in and guys front door as soon as you walk in uh to right at the entry, of course, you've got this office to the left, but where you're standing right now, there's a foyer, there's a really cool pendant light fixture, tray ceilings that go all the way up, and when you turn around, there's actually a really cool accent wall that I'll show you in a little cutaway, mm -hmm. but right now, we are in this amazing office space. Yeah. How do you feel? I love the floating shelves, I love the accent wall, I mean, it's just amazing and you also have your double doors leading you in and i love how the glass is frosted too because nobody can see you while you're working yeah and the accent walls guys i mean they're kind of all over this house but listen i mean if you can spend a little bit extra money because it's not a huge upgrade Definitely typically not. it's like under a thousand usually yeah. 500 bucks to get an accent wall put into the room and it just makes a world of a difference when it comes to design floating shelves like laura mentioned Nice built-in shelving yep. cabinet space. Cabinets, um, beautiful. We're not gonna spend forever in the office because you guys see it, you know what it looks like, amazing. And then we're gonna float this way. Yeah, so. To some of your secondary bedrooms. We'll show you guys those first and then we'll show you the master suite last. You guys got already got a little peek of this great living space, but we're gonna show you that later. So come down this hallway with us. We'll go right first. Yeah, so. Boys room, right, Laura? Yes. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Hello. <laughs> awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, so here we are in one of your secondary bedrooms. They made this into a boys' room. You got your white paint. You have your little seating area. Read a book. Do whatever. Do your homework if you're a child. Um, and just overall, just beautiful. You also have that dark accent wall again, which we love. What do you think? Yeah, so with secondary bedrooms, the things that I think people really love to have mentioned or have, you know, be educated on is the fact that this room size is pretty freaking big because I mean double nice stands on each side this is a pretty decent sized bed you've got a nice tall walk-in closet um, and everyone had, does have their dedicated closet as well but some really nice seating area someone mentioned in our story earlier on Instagram that they really like the seating area so you know this is definitely something you can put into your floor plan yeah it's beautiful and then we'll cut away to the closet as well later just so y'all can get a better idea of what it looks like exactly it's a pretty pretty big open closet yep and then in here you have your um full bath one of your full baths that um each, I guess each child or each whoever is in these bedrooms can use it. Um, really cute um, subway tile action going on, kind of thicker, longer subway tile than your usual. Yeah. And then you have the white cabinets, which are so pretty. Yeah. And your stainless steel hardware. Yeah, and I might have some really like childlike taste because these bedrooms to me are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, they're so cute. It's yeah, like, I love the paneling on the wall. Later that you'll see in the yeah. girls' room, that lavender. 
Yeah, the but, accents that they added in the bedrooms are amazing. Beautiful. Uh, like Laura said, cool tiling, granite or quartz countertop with the silver hardware against that white. And later you're gonna see that some of these floors in the bathroom have really cool and unique tiling, but we'll get to that. These are so cool, those floors in the bathroom. Wow. Oh amazing. yeah. Okay, so where are we now, Laura? Now we're in the girls' bedroom. The girls' bedroom. And this paneling is everything. Yeah. It looks so pretty. And I know they painted this purple, but it doesn't look like it was painted. It literally looks like this is normal. Yeah, I mean. For this wood to be purple. That like light lavender, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like full deep purple colors. Like this is a little too much for me, uh -huh. but lavender is the move. I love how airy it makes a room. Yeah. And again, guys, you have the seating area. I think it's a super functional way to make use of your window. So do it if you're building. Yeah, so pretty. And then you also have a closet that kind of mimics the other one. This is kind of like a walk-in closet. We'll punch your way to that later. <laughs> right on. Guys, and this tucked away secret in this house, we didn't actually, this is probably the last it's space crazy. that we like really gravitated towards because we thought it was just, uh, you know, completely closed off, but check this out, come over. Y'all are gonna be so shocked by this. Yeah. This is so cool. Love that they let this slide in through this area too. On the way there, you have a coat closet. They're kind of just using it for storage, but you do have that. And then there's an entry over here to your garage, yep. one, one car garage. Nice window for the lighting. And your, you know, abuelo, abuela, your, you know, <laughs> whoever is living in here, the guests, right? They have this lounge space that connects directly into their, um, their, their bedroom. bedroom with the full bathroom. Yes. Huge. Y'all, I cannot even believe that this home has this. Like the price, who, who gets this? Like literally for the price that it is, that, that 810,000 starting point, like you're literally getting so much house here that like you walk in and you're shocked. Like mm -hmm. people were saying earlier on the live that it literally feels like a hotel room because you have another living room mm -hmm. that your guests can literally just hang out. Like he said, grandparents, if you have you know kids who are moved mm -hmm. out and you're empty nesters and they're coming to visit, this is like the perfect guest quarters. Yeah. And it's if, amazing. Yeah, and if your you know, step parents for some reason don't like you very much, this is a good reason why they might because you have a whole dedicated home space <laughs> to them when they come visit. You never even really have to talk to them. Yeah. So Let's you're in this flex space, a seating area over there. But guys, this space is the front of the house. So the windows in here make it um, possible for all that sunlight to come in. I mean, Laura, look at this. This space is pretty big. No, literally like you can't go wrong with this. Like. Mm. This is something that you don't know you need until you see it. Yeah, and there's I a whole need bathroom this. here. I need this. In my dream home, I'm definitely going to have like a guest quarters. Yeah, for perfect sure. for those mover uppers that are coming into this growing area of the uh, north of Dallas in yeah. this um, Salina. So this is the full bathroom that we have. We've got, um, you know, of course, the same pattern with the quartz countertop on this side, um, stainless steel hardware, and then the flush white cabinets, commode, really nice tiling. But my favorite part right here, come on in, Lauren. You, I think, are gonna like this as well. I love the fact that they broke up the big tiling because the big tiling is always a really nice thing to have with that hexagonal tile on the bottom. What do you think, Laura? Yeah, I that hexagonal tile on the floors always kills me, man. Like yeah. that's like one of my favorite things in showers that we're seeing these days. And it really brings the space together. It's not just, so the tile on the walls matches the tile on the ground in the bathroom, but the tile in the shower on the ground is a little bit different. So it's kind of breaks it up and it's not, you know, too much of that large tile. Right on. Okay guys, so are you ready for the highlights of this house? Because if you're purchasing this home and you walk in, the wow factors are coming up and they're right here in the great room. Yes, we love it. <laughs> yes, yes. I, Laura, you know, with single story homes, what really makes a house grand is how tall they can carry the ceilings and how big and wide they can make the kitchen and the living room, in my opinion. Yeah, and this is, man, like the vaulted ceilings, so much natural light coming in, like you literally, you can't beat it. Yeah, so you've got a kitchen on the side where y'all are standing now, and it floats right into this living room right here. Uh, fireplace with black tiling carrying all the way to the ceiling, and you've got your tray ceiling with 
the really nice beams up there outside. So top. pretty, yeah. And then let's float this way back into the kitchen so y'all can see. Zach, how do you feel about this backsplash? I love it. I mean, I yep. think that it's, you know, we were seeing a lot of um, either subway tile or just even patterns, but this, uh, because there's so much neutrals in here and so much white, I think that looks amazing. How do you even like put this tile in? Like look at the, <laughs> I you know, got, like, right? tiny, tiny squares and then you got like long ones, tall ones, like, I don't know, it's just really crazy. The builder me, did like. an amazing job installing yeah. that. Yeah, whoever did the construction on this house, Kill did great. Six burner Hope gas range stove. Yeah. Six burner gas range stove. You got your stainless steel hardware over here too, or brush nickel. Um, and yeah, just the space is amazing. The countertops are amazing. The backsplash is one of my favorites just because it's so unique. Mm -hmm. Like you don't really see this kind of backsplash anywhere. So extremely beautiful. Yeah. Let's go to the dining area. Okay. Um, again, guys, one of my favorite piece actually about this home is the countertops. Um, you know, interestingly enough, because it is just, you know, quartz countertop, but I love the way that the patterns run through. It just looks really cool. Yeah, and you have your built-in cabinets here and your accent wall again, like we had mentioned all the way at the beginning of the video. There's tons of accent walls in here that they did black. And you know, sometimes black can be overdone, but not in this house. It's amazing. Yeah. I think it looks so beautiful and it does add a little bit of accent. So the house isn't just like a plain boring white, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, there is so much space I mean each room is like I mean the ceilings don't get uh, that much shorter and so they're really tall ceilings so when you have dark black or you know deep blue uh, accent it doesn't actually make the room smaller beautiful yeah and this light fixture farmhouse vibes I love it I love how they used silver for everything in this house yeah. everything matches everything flows so nicely mm -hmm. you're not seeing other colors for hardware which i personally sometimes when you do different colors in bathrooms and stuff sometimes it's not really a vibe you yeah, know it just yeah. depends on the house i guess guys and we've got to count our windows like every other house in the kitchen <laughs> or in the formal dining space so we've got five windows plus one there's a little bonus window there with a the door because that does let in a lot of light as well yeah. um, and because you have such a big backyard just you gotta marvel at this grandeur of a giant space yeah and we'll we'll get to that later once we're done inside the house yeah because gotta show you guys first the living room and then yes our favorite yes the master suite always my favorite like I don't know why every master suite that we go and film is like has such big wow factors like wow. my favorite about every house is always the master bath I don't know about you what's like in general what's your favorite to in be honest house? when you walk in and you can see that they're giant giant glass doors that slide all the way open or just fold all the way open that to me is just like the biggest when you walk into the house oh yeah interesting yeah. that's a little different than like what someone would usually say because usually you have like your master suite or your kitchen or we see so you know, many whatever. homes you know but yeah. so when you see that and you see this you know giant yeah. tile to the ceiling i don't know this is just my favorite part of the house personally yeah. yeah so this room right here like i told you before beams on the ceiling with a tray um i mean it's a really really big living room mm -hmm. so yeah and it's so open like it's open there it's open there it's not like it's closed off yeah the walls you walk in and there's just so much space and it feels so light and airy yeah i like how you have those pillars but it doesn't close any of the space off yeah this is exactly what someone would imagine when you have a house that's just giant but it's yeah. all, but it's like you know if it was closed off this is exactly the, what you yeah. could do to make it more open and like the arches and it's just classy are you ready to show them this primary yes. bedroom oh, let's yes go. <laughs> Primary suite, love it. Oh, and guess what? You have your black accent wall in here too. All right, we need to take a breath in here because this is just as big as your living room. This is huge. No, seriously. Um, <laughs> first so of all, big. how's the lighting, Lauren? Because it's bright in here, y'all. Like, it's it's real bright in here. All right, so. we're, gonna, we're gonna see you back in two seconds when we adjust it so you can appreciate this. Yes. Right. Guys, you know the room is freaking bright when we have to cut for a second to adjust the lighting in here. Like, yeah. It's just so bright in here, but I love it. Yeah. I love it. Like it doesn't get better than this. Like I just like bright. And you know, you can always put blackout curtains in here. If you like to sleep in, get your blackout curtains going on these bay windows mm -hmm. and call it a day. Yeah. Because it's bright in here. Yeah, okay. and really quickly, I wanted to mention king size bed 
two nice stands on either side. You got a floating headboard. It's really interesting. Never seen that before. Black accent on the walls. But guys, vaulted ceilings in the primary owner suite. So, so tall, so grand. Mm -hmm. I want to wake up in here, look outside, and have a door right here yeah. to my swimming pool because this is Salina and you've got You've got land, guys. It's so you can amazing. do that. It's amazing, yeah. And you do have your community pool. You can always build your own pool if you want to, um, but you do have a community pool here that we're gonna be showing you in the video as well with drone footage. It's gonna be so dope, y'all. Yeah, and I will not be building a pool, <laughs> but <laughs> I will let somebody else do it. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, and let's just surprise him. Yeah, okay guys, <laughs> this is what you've been waiting for our classic French door opening. So go ahead, Laura, take it away. open one door and I open the other door? All right, come on. <laughs> I know Ready? We're one, two, three. <laughs> Welcome back to the tour. <laughs> that was the most extra thing I've ever <laughs> Yeah, but Anyways. Um, good reactions, right? Yeah. Talk about the tub. The tub, y'all, I would get in right now, but you would probably see things you don't want to see. Um, but anyways, <laughs> massive deep soaker tub. I could I could fit two of me in here, honestly. You could fit four Make it children like six. in here. If you got little babies, you can fit a lot of little kids in here. I love standalone tubs. Mm -hmm. That is one of my favorite features in any house that we go to. Yeah, and I don't use standalone tubs, but you bet that if I buy one of these homes that I'm gonna be spending a lot of my bathroom time here in this tub, just locking the doors in, candles lit. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna get romantic and sappy, but you know, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> double, two vanities on either side, giant windows letting all the light in, two extra there on top. Oh my gosh. Um, and Laura, I'm gonna let you talk about the shower because you loved it so much the first time, so go ahead. Um, this shower, y'all, this is everything. It's massive. This tiling that you see is freaking amazing. It's a little like um, loud in here, um, but yeah, echo I mean. Um, this tile is beautiful. You have your handle here, your shower handle. I love this because you know whenever you go to turn on the water and you like get wet? Well, that's not happening in the shower because your handle's right here by the entrance of the shower and then your shower head is all the way over here so you're not gonna be getting wet. They really thought about that, Zach. Yeah, Isn't so. Isn't so crazy how they really actually thought about that? Like, yeah, that's the most profound thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> But no, yeah, if, if you are not a fan of just getting splashed by a negative 20 degree cold water when you turn on your shower, then this is a design for you. Yeah, it's literally amazing. What do we love about the, this floor plan right now going into the closet? Okay, something that we mentioned sometimes in some of our videos, like mm -hmm. houses have the laundry room connected to your master closet, which Literally, you don't have to go anywhere. Like, it's literally right there. And I think that is so amazing. It's an amazing feature that Coventry Homes included in this property. Mm -hmm. um, so, you just do all your laundry right here. Yeah, let's go. And away. literally, whenever your laundry is done, you just walk right back into the closet. Yeah. Easy. Great big closet, again with the vaulted ceiling. So they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to go extra, That's but they insane. did because it's Coventry Homes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, guys, it's a closet, it's big, it's wonderful. Yeah. Let's check out where That's it goes nice. to. And you also have your door. double doors into the closet, which is such a cool feature, in my I opinion. I love, like, they're extra, but I love it so much. Oh yeah, I love it. And you know me. Queen of extra. extra. <laughs> Queen of extra. <laughs> All right, uh, Lauren, we want you to go on this side real quick and just so we can see what this laundry room looks like from the door, um, from the hallway. Huge. Huge, so much space. Your washer and your dryer are gonna be here and you have cabinet space. And honestly, Zach, what is this space for? Could this be like a fridge space? You know, like that's really interesting. Fridge. I've said it before and I'll say it again. People love to put their pets, especially their dogs, in laundry rooms. I didn't think that was a common concept, but yeah. this is really unique. Yeah. And I think that's what this is designed for. Okay, for the dog. <laughs> yeah, for the dog. For the dog. It's so interesting. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are here in the game room. This is going to be 
a separate space in the home. I love this room because every wall is an accent wall. The way that they painted this bedroom or this game room is so great. And something that I absolutely love is you have your vaulted ceilings as well. They put green boards up there to match the green accents on the walls. And I don't know if y'all are trying to get dusted in foosball, but I am a foosball pro. Um, She's so, a pro at losing. So if you buy a house, <laughs> if you buy a house here, I will buy you a foosball table and I will personally whoop your butt in foosball. Yeah, and, so. she'll, and she's saying that right before she gets dusted by me in foosball. <laughs> Zach, seriously, the king of foosball? Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> and then something else about this game room that is such a special feature is that you have a half bath in here with such cool flooring in here. It's so pretty, so nice. And you have your matching white cabinets, um, just like in all the other bathrooms and in the kitchen and your gray countertops. So pretty and that tile on the floor. Sometimes you can overdo it, but for a half bath, like something that's as small as that bathroom, it's not too much and it's not, you know, annoying. Right, yes. Yeah, so okay. this is such a cool feature of this property. <clears throat> um, and then yeah, we'll go ahead and see you guys in the backyard. Okay guys, we're here in this nice, spacious, big backyard with the covered patio and covered tree homes. I want to stress the fact that this covered patio is probably one of the bigger ones that we've seen in the Frisco Prosper Solana area. And it only fits in Solana because there's so much land out here. Yeah. But check this out. You've got an outdoor grill, cooking space, uh, wired for water. So we got a faucet there. Um, we've got a nice uh, gas logs, right? Uh, that is, yeah, I think it is a gas fireplace, mm -hmm. but don't, yeah, it is a gas fireplace. Um, and these kinds of features are something that you can upgrade. So of course it's going to cost a little bit more money. But it's worth something it. that I, yeah, 100% it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Like this is a game changer to have an outdoor barbecue like this with a sink. Like, come on now. Like, yeah, and I mean, especially in Texas, but especially when you've got those nice giant doors that come all the way open, because now you can do that indoor outdoor concept everyone dreams yeah, of. Exactly. And something else that I love about this patio is that they used brick. So it's not just your concrete boring patio. They really put emphasis on this entertainment space and yeah. I love it. Yeah, really cool seating over here. And speaking of seating, we're going to shuffle around to this side too, because I want to show you guys. More that. seating. More seating, exactly. So we're gonna just sit down, have ourselves a good old little time. So this patio is really big, y'all. Like there's so much space for entertainment. You can put a dining room table here, um, you know, have your dinners, lunches, breakfast outside. Mm. And it's really such a vibe out here. Yeah. And then we'll show you the rest of the yard because it's so big. These lot sizes, y'all, like you're not really going to find these closer to downtown Dallas, like your Frisco McKinney areas um, or places. I know, you know, so Salina, if you want more land, if a yard is a deal breaker for you and you still want really good school districts and you want a good area that's going to be very safe in a huge master plan community, this is where you want to be. Yeah, I think that this community and this city is one, the best investment you're going to get in the um, areas north of Dallas, two, amazing school districts, and three, if you want that happy, perfect medium. Salina is a city, Mustang likes a place, and we're your realtor, so hit us yes, up. Yes, exactly. All right, well, we'll see you guys in two seconds. Okay, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the home tour here in Dallas-Fort Worth. I'm Zach Searsway. And I'm Laura Krachich, and we are your Dallas-Fort Worth Realtors. Today, we were hanging out at Coventry Homes in Mustang Lakes in the master plan community in Salina, Texas. These homes feature three to five bedrooms, two to four bathrooms, starting at 2,800 square feet at an extremely low price for the lot size of 800 and $10,000. Guys, this lot is absolutely massive. We're on a 70 foot lot at 810, but just to let you guys know, there is a smaller lot size option of 40 foot lots, and that's gonna start at the 400 to 500 price mm -hmm. point. So if you're looking for something at a lower price range, you wanna be in this community. It, I mean, this community is amazing. And if you want Coventry Homes, you can get that. Chat us up. We'll leave keywords right here with our phone number so that you can easily text us for details in this community for this builder. With that being said, we we're hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as we enjoyed filming it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time we uh, post videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.